We're back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, genders of all ages. All right, guys, and today we're talking about something that I'm actually interested in, the movies and shows that we're excited for in the month of October 2022. And first up, we have a movie called Amsterdam, October 7th. It's going to be released in theaters and then goes to streaming. Okay, we have David O. Russell directing. He did Silver Lines, uh, Silver Lining Playbook. He did uh, American Hustle, The Fighter, and Joy. Okay, so let's throw it to Jack. Jack, what did you think about the trailer with Amsterdam? It looks wonderful. It looks wonderful. The only thing that kind of scares me, you know, when they put so many great actors all together, the movie ends up being pieces. Yeah. But the actors in this movie are just ah, God, bro. We got Christian Bale. We got Margot Robbie. We got Chris Rock. We got Denzel Washington's son, uh, David Washington. Mike Myers, you have Taylor Swift, which is not a real actress, you know. Robert De Niro, Robert, Robert De Niro's in there too. Robert, Robert De Niro, De Niro in that mug. No, there's a lot of and the budget's of only actors, reported. Actresses. Sorry, to the budget's only reported to be 55 million for the movie. So I guess those guys are a little bit. Already they're taking the, they're the, taking a cut. <laughs> Christian <laughs> Bale, Christian Bale can easily get a 20 million piece easy. Easily. You think he's easily. still worth that much? Yeah, yeah you think Christian Bale's still worth that much? I'm in a movie of with Marvel without without. Christian Bale and Thor, I think it's one of the worst Marvel movies no, ever. No, exactly. If it wasn't for Christian Bale, it wouldn't have been. That movie would have been stupid. You know stupid. what? That's a million percent. Yeah. One million percent. No, no, I agree. No, no. I agree. Okay, so Amsterdam, Jack's excited for it. Uh, I am obviously very excited for it. I love American Hustle. I love The Fighter with Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale. Obviously, David O. Russell, great director. I didn't really like Joy, the last movie with Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, this movie looks different. It has like one of those uh, where our brother our thou feels, you know, it's it's set in the 1920s. Uh, it looks like a crime thriller with comedy. So I'm excited for it. Uh, so far, early reviews have been mixed, uh, but I'm still going to watch it. Movie. And I think that... Chess show. Very funny. And I think that all of us uh, are excited. We're going to watch it. It's obviously going to be an Oscar contender for sure. The next movie coming out in order will be All Quiet in the Western Front. On October 7th on Netflix. Guys, any thoughts? Because I have some thoughts. Um, well, well, you know, it's a German film, but I mean... Yes, the movie's in German with subtitles. Yes. No, I won't watch that. <clears throat> you won't watch that? No, nah, I'm not going to sit there. I mean, it's a war movie. The whole entire it, thing. It's a war movie. Yeah, it's a war movie. Skip. skip. <clears throat> I like the setting. Uh, from the trailer, it looks very gritty. So I can... I think I might give it a shot. I, I mean, I don't know any of those filmmakers. I don't know any of those actors. I'm going in there with... Blind. Blind eye, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm super excited for this movie. It's based on a very famous book, All Quiet in the Western Front. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. It's based on World War One. The movie is a German film, and it's from the German's perspective. I've never seen war movies like that from World War One and shit like that. This must be a new thing, you know? So, okay, haven't yeah. Seen, haven't seen that before. All right, good to hear. So listen, um, <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm excited for the movie. Like Tony said, it looks gritty. It's, like it's going to have some really, you know, graphic. Yeah, it's going to have some yeah, really I mean, graphic. Like war, there's, there's not fucking rainbows and unicorns. I mean, it's no, death no. and murder. <laughs> no, no. War. So, of no, course, it's going to be There's going to be no rainbows and unicorns. But you're movie. following, like, the Germans. So, technically, you're kind of, in our perspective, you're following the bad guys in a way. From right? history's perspective, yes, they are the bad guys. But So, it's a different take on that, too. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, it's from the bad guy's point of view, even though it's looking like it's going to sympathize with the Germans as far as the soldiers who were actually fighting it. Okay, we're not talking about the politicians and the people that were bad, obviously, or right, whatever. So yeah, I'm excited for All Quiet on the Western Front. I think before we continue to the next movie, I think it's gonna be the only movie this year to actually challenge Top Gun Maverick for being the best movie of the year thus far. It, and one more thing, it cannot be nominated for an Oscar for Best Picture because it's a foreign film. It was made in Germany and released in German theaters so it can win Best Foreign Film. All right, guys. Next movie. Also on October 7th, excuse me, October 7th, releasing on Disney Plus, is Marvel's Werewolf by Night. <laughs> <laughs> next. <laughs> Fucking next. Yeah, fuck that show. All right, so continuing. Excuse me, we missed one. Yeah, you did. October 4th, ladies and gentlemen, horror fans, Hellraiser coming out on Hulu. It's getting a lot of hype. People are saying that it's very good. Um, I believe it debuted at Fright Fest, uh, which is a film festival for horror films. And it's coming out on Hulu. What Any you, thoughts? Well, I'll tell you this. I mean, Hulu did a good job with The Predator. 
as a remake. Good point. So I'll give Hellraiser a shot too. I'm not a big fan of the Hellraiser or the Jasons and all that shit, but yeah. it looks like, you know, if they're keeping it simple and just rebooting it in a simple way, not trying to do too much, yeah, it'll be good. Just like Predator was. Right? Next. Okay, so <laughs> thank you, Jack, for that detailed <laughs> review. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Hellraiser, guys. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm a big Hellraiser fan. I've never even seen the original, to be honest. But I am going to watch this one because it looks it looks uh, really good. And it looks dark. It looks like uh, this this uh, actor or actress that's playing. Uh, because an actress? Well, it's a transgender uh, person that is playing Hellraiser, the Cenobites. They're oh. Cenobites, the pinheads. Okay. On October 14th, we have Halloween Ends. Michael Myers. This is it, folks. So Halloween ends. Michael Myers. Wow. Tony, what are you, what are you, you know, check it out? Well, I mean, look, it's it's coming out in theaters and on Peacock Day 1 because they already knew it's going to fucking fail. So, yeah, my response to that is, uh, I don't care. I, I'm glad they're going to end the 40-year trilogy how they're promoting. I don't give a fuck. They're finally going to end it. 40-year trilogy. Or? Jamie Lee Curtis is already on a fucking wheelchair running away from him. Bro, the, the, so the, the Michael shit, Myers right? mask is already like his actual skin. Look, I understand. The mask is actually his mask. At this point. <laughs> it's so stuck already. I mean, look, I didn't care for Rob Zombie's take on it, and and I think they did a better job bringing back Jamie Lee Curtis. I will say that, but I'm I don't think they did a great job either because she says the same lines in every movie. This time I'm going to end you, Michael Myers. This time I'm going to kill you. This time I'm going to kill you again. Every fucking movie, the same line. It's so good, stupid. Some good acting there. Yeah. All right. So, what's your take? Are you excited? Only, for? The only no. movie she's made that I like the most is True Lies, does it? You already yeah, know. We know. already know. know. <laughs> okay, go ahead. What do you think of Lies? Oh, man. I'm showing the age. I'm showing the age again. All right. So, uh, this, this, this movie looks, it's the first one they made in 2018. Uh, I haven't been crazy about them the first one they made in back in you know a few years ago was good uh obviously the original is the best one ever i think the original and part two are the best ones ever the, the sequel they made to the one in 2018 was terrible i didn't like it i think that blumhouse the problem is that they're 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 making these movies in too much of a hollywood fashion so there's action scenes you know it's very you know uh there's tons of characters and and that's not what made the original two uh all time and legendary so am i excited for it not crazy excited for it, but, you know, obviously I'm going to go watch it. I've been a fan of Michael Myers my whole life. So uh, I'll check it out, and there'll be, I'm sure, a little review or short or something on it, okay? Yeah. All right, guys, moving on. Black Adam, October 21st. It's going to be released in nah, theaters. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, Jack's a fan of that Kanye West song. Nah, 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 nah. From 10 years ago. All right, Jack, Black Adam. How Finally, I, I can see The Rock doing something that's productive instead of all these stupid movies he's been doing lately. This is his movie, you know? This is a movie that you can sit there and be like, he looks like a fucking superhero. Big. You know what I mean? Strong. He has a character for it. A serious role, you know? Like, you know, a villain slash like vigilante. So like, this is his role. If, if, if he doesn't do good here to me, and that's it. But I'm tired of seeing The Rock on, on screen as well. I hate all these stupid movies that he makes. But this movie looks good. Yeah. I mean, the last time you played Superhero was in... Uh, face? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the last time you played Superhero was when you did the Fast and Furious movies. It was Superhero there. Basically. Yeah. Hobbs, <laughs> Hobbs is a... Hobbs. 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 He was, Hobbs was, he was jumping from 50 feet down. Yeah, from he, another, in the prison cell, he was carrying a guy sideways. He'd toss him. Yeah, he fights. Uh, 300 pound man. Yeah, yeah, he fights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See ya. Off the balcony. And Cliffhanger, he's hanging. Like a 500 pound man almost. <laughs> Cliffhanger. You with mean two fingers. Not Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger was best alone. You mean skyscraper. Sky <laughs> <laughs> Cliffhanger, wow. <laughs> Boy, he's hanging off a cliff though, right? Yeah, we keep showing it. We keep showing our age. Motherfucker, oh, man. man. <laughs> Have you ever seen Cliffhanger? Still holds up today. Classic. Cliffhanger is better than any movie that's come out. <laughs> the last two months, three months. <laughs> Fucking worst. <laughs> Who's making movies nowadays? <laughs> They're not talented at all. Um, I'm real, excited bro. for Black Adam too. No, I mean, hell yeah. God, man, kind of gets excited looks, for something. It some looks good, bro. Like He actually looks like he plays the part perfect. You know, like I hope he doesn't disappoint. We've been saying he was born. I, I mean, this guy was born to play Black Adam. Like, yeah. even, even yeah. yeah, he looks years, exactly like years. He looks identical to, to, the, to the character as well. Should be good. They're doing a lot of features in there, a lot of different superhero nah, nah, characters, nah, nah, nah. DC characters. So, should be fun. I mean, I'm going to definitely go watch it day one. You know how it is. Yeah, 100%. Black Adam, I'm into it as well. Uh, I think that he, like they said, is born to play this act, this this role. Uh, I like the casting of Pierce Brosnan. <clears throat> uh, what else? I think the movie has a little bit of a dark feel, but yet also entertaining with some comedic 
uh, relief. I'm sure we're going to get. Probably going to be DC's favorite, best movie. It's going to be one of their best movies, I think. And I think it for sure this year it's going to be better than Multiverse and better than Thor, for sure. I think. This one looks good. It does look good. And again, The Rock, it looks like he knows what he's doing out there. And there's rumor to have Henry Cavill in there, too, so... Coming out as Superman? That'll be super dope. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Can you imagine how dope that'll be? Yeah, that'll be awesome. Yeah. And what better movie to do it with than someone, one of the most famous people on the planet? The Rock. <clears throat> okay. So we continue. And now we have Guillermo's Cabinet of Curiosities, October 25th on Netflix. I think this is going to be the talk of Halloween for sure. You think let me talk to Halloween? That, that show is going to be the most talked about show when it comes out. For sure, 100%. He's doing eight different scary stories, and he's doing each one very. It's like watching eight different movies. Interesting, you yeah, know that's gonna be raw as fuck. Uh, I gotta be he honest. He doesn't play around when he does his shit. So, uh, since it's Guillermo del Toro, I'm gonna watch it. Um, I like The Shape of Water and his other films. Uh, what else? He's so, the only one who made a great Blade movie. Well, he made Blade too, but Blade one was good as well. So, it's classic. Guys, I want to touch on one more, one more, please. There's a movie coming out. Um, it's very, it's very, uh, it's specifically made obviously for if you really like horror. It's called Terrifier. Uh, they're coming out the sequel now this month on October sixth. It's going to be in theaters now. This movie, this movie is not for children, okay? Because in the last one, he split a woman in half hanging upside down. Now, besides that, besides that. Right, this guy, Art the Clown. If you like movies like it, you know, part two and one, check this movie out. You'll probably like it for Halloween. I'm very excited to watch it. As you can tell, they are as well. How about Hocus Pocus? Oh, Hocus, Hocus, Hocus Pocus, Pocus dropped yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I'm not watching before. That. Yeah, I mean, well, my wife will watch that. Your wife will watch. And that? so yours. Yeah. Nah, I doubt it. You don't like Hocus Pocus too? It's very stupid, kiddish, dumb. I love part one though. Hocus Pocus. You love part one? The, the when was the last time you saw Hocus Pocus? Last year. Last year you went. Oh damn! Oh, how convenient. Last year, <laughs> I watch it. I'm always watching Halloween time. Uh, it's my it? favorite Halloween movie. That one, Halloween. That's your favorite ha- Halloween, Halloween Town. Your favorite Halloween movie. I'm sorry. You want me to like Michael Myers? Halloween Kills. No, no, no. Hocus Pocus. My bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> ter- terror, terrific, terrific, <laughs> terror two. He's doing the pot. He's doing the pot. The lady. The What's the fuck's the name of the movie you're just Terrifier two. Terrifier, yeah, terrific two. Listen, listen, I can give a listen fuck to watch that. Listen, I don't think I'm gonna watch that if it was like if they fucking made my eyes pinned open and strapped to <laughs> a fucking chair. I would have watched that shit. I am not watching those fucking stupid movies. That's the kind of movie I don't like. I rather watch Hocus Pocus than watch the well, fucking person okay, splitting why? people in half. What pleasure do I get? That movie. What yeah, pleasure movie. you get? Hey, that movie is. <laughs> Can I give a fuck? Hey, fuck listen, that, that movie is really good. But why don't you? <laughs> so you can see here a little bit of our taste of our, you know, a little bit <laughs> of people have. That we have. So disgusting, dog. <laughs> guys, 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 comment down below and tell me what is your favorite Halloween movie? Period. We all we want engagement, so put your favorite Halloween the movie down below, uh, or, or, or you know, spooky season movie, and, and we'll reply to you. Okay. Well, now that you said that, I will touch on one more thing, one last thing, little side thing. Uh, the Walking Dead's finally going to end. It airs now, the last 10 episodes. Just giving, throwing that out there. And it's going to finally end the whole show. Well, maybe Rick Grimes comes back. And maybe I'll just watch that episode. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Walking Sucks, Dead. but it's true. All right, guys. Thanks for checking uh, the So Let's Go podcast out. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell button. Fuck yourselves. And also, if you could please, uh, yeah, put your favorite Halloween movie down below. Okay, guys? Thanks for watching.